Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin. Today I have a 12 minute cardio core workout for you. This will get your heart rate up, it'll work the muscles of your core, and it's a really, really fun one if I do say so myself. Make sure you've got your workout shoes on and two weights for today's class. And when you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. We're starting in about 10 seconds with a really easy tap and press. Five, four, three, two, and one. So step to the side, squeeze the shoulder blades. Every exercise today we're doing for one minute. So this is a really quick cardio core burn. And all the exercise exercises are very low impact, so super accessible. You're halfway through. So you can add a little bounce here. In 10 seconds, we're gonna do a jumping jack or a step out jack if you don't wanna jump with a heel tap. Three, two, and one. So you'll step out and then tap the heel and switch. Step out, tap your heel, switch. And if you're like, this is a breeze, it's a heel jack. Kind of feels like hopscotch when I was a kid. Hurry, it's coming up. 10 seconds. Again, just like you're a kid. Jump rope. Five, four, three, two, one. Just hop in, roll it out the wrists. You can make this a high knee skip. You could make this a side to side skip. Feels good to get the body moving. Feels good to get the heart rate up. I am so proud of you for taking this time out of your day to move your body. In 20 seconds, we're gonna do a standing side crunch. And we'll alternate sides for this full minute. In 10 seconds, we'll start. Three, two, one. So your hands will come behind your head. I want you to bring your, whoa, maybe you fall over. That's a good start. Bring your left elbow to your left knee and swap. So you're feeling this side waist really squeeze. And if you fall over like I just did, it's okay. Right, just come back into it. It's okay to catch a stumble. I always say, means your body is learning something new, right? No one is perfect. And some days, coordination just a little bit better than the others. In 10 seconds, we're gonna do an alternating knee drive. Option to hop. All right, so I'm gonna step one foot forward, reach your arms up, drive knee in, two, and then step, switch sides. Drive in one, two, step, switch sides. One, two, step, switch sides. You can add a hop if you want, so drive, Drive, 
alternate. In 20 seconds, you're grabbing out your weight for the next exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab your weights, bend your knees to pick them up. I want you to hold your weights at 90, palms face in. Put a little bend in the knees. Rotate one direction and then the other. So the obliques are twisting you side to side. Your hips are pointing forward. Shoulders are moving because you're twisting behind your navel. If the weights are too much, ditch them. You don't need them. You're focusing on your twist. You have to really control yourself so that you don't go in a full circle, right? In 10 seconds, we're moving on. Two and one. Let those weights come down alongside you. I want you to just bring your left arm down your leg, then squeeze to come back up and swap sides. So this is slow and controlled. This is an opportunity for you to get your breath back. This is all muscle doing the work. This is not momentum. So you want to move quite slowly. Your tail is heavy. Try as best you can to keep the twist out of this action. You'll just need one weight for the next exercise. This is the only one that we're going to split into two chunks of 30 seconds and we're doing the wood chop. Three, two, one. All right, so bend your knees, hold on to the weight either side. I want you to bring the weight to your right knee and then sweep up a little rotation to the left. So you're bending, sweeping up. You have 10 more seconds on this side, and then we're going to swap. Two. Last one here. Alternate. So now the weight's on the outside of your left leg. You're sweeping right. In 10 seconds, I want you to pick up your second weight. We're doing a squat, press, and rotate. Three, two, one. Bend your knees to pick up your weight. Okay. Use your biceps, rack your weights up. Bend your knees, sit your bum back. As you press up, I want you to rotate towards the right. Bend your knees, press up. Rotate towards the left, press the right arm up. So really similar to the wood chop. You're pivoting on the back foot, on the back toes. So you want to make sure that you're not fixing the foot. Unless you feel good, you can really make this quicker if you want. In 10 seconds, once more, ditching a weight. You'll keep hold of one. All right. Whew, last exercise with weight. So we're gonna hold your weight in one hand. Be very careful to not throw your weight at your TV. You're gonna send your hips back. Take your right arm out to the right, left hand and the weight go back. As you drive your hips and weight forward, you'll switch sides. So your bum 
is what's taking that weight up, okay? So you're squeezing your butt cheeks to lift you up. You're making sure you have a damn good hold of that weight before switching sides, okay? I do not want you throwing your weight at your TV or your pet or a family member, okay? Strong hold. Chest is lifted. This is a great one, get that heart rate up. In five seconds, you're coming down to a plank position on your hands, two and one. Okay, we're gonna do a cross, a mountain climber variation. So bring your right knee to your left armpit, step it back. Bring your right knee to your right armpit, step it back. Bring your left knee to your right armpit, step it back, left to left. So you're doing alternate to same. Alternate to same. You're stepping back in between the sides. In five seconds, lie down on your back. Okay, feet go forward, hands behind you. You can keep your hands on the mat. You want to extend the legs out long, bring them back in. Keep your collarbones nice and wide. Last exercise in this workout. Ooh, I feel my thighs. So, if it's a bit too much, you can do one leg at the time. I filmed a workout right before this, and it might've been a mistake. I'm tired. Less than 20 seconds left. Order if you want to make sure that you take a stretch and I'll see you in the next video have a really really awesome day bye for now thank you so much for sharing your time with me I very much appreciate it please give this video a like if you enjoyed it you can comment down below to let me know your favorite part of this cardio core workout or let me know if you have ideas of videos or yoga practices that you would like to see you can always subscribe to my channel to get videos from me weekly. And I am so happy once again that you shared your time with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.